Okay, we have here another integral from the MIT Integration B 2025. This was number 11. We've got the integral from 0 to 20, the ceiling function of the floor function of x over 2 dx. Okay, to get started, we definitely want to deal with the floor and the ceiling function. The nice thing about the floor and the ceiling is it's always going to return an integer value. So we kind of know if we break this up the right way, we're really just looking at a constant here that we can bring out front of the integral. But in order to do this, I need to see what happens. We need to kind of break up our bounds. So what usually works is if we break it up on integers. So like if I write this, we just kind of get a feel for it. And we'll have a first integral going from zero to one. Now the floor function is going to round us down to the next highest integer. The ceiling is going to round us up to the next lowest integer. So here, if our x values are between zero and one, we plug it in here. The floor is going to round everything down to zero. So this first integral is just going to be zero. And so what that's going to allow me to do is this is nothing. So we can just kind of update this lower bound and just consider the integral from one to 20. Then going on to the next one, we'll look at an integral from one to two. The x values between one and two floor rounds us down to one. So we end up with one half inside the ceiling function. I'm going to just leave it like this for now. But what's going to happen is one half gets rounded up to one. So this value is just going to be a one here. And then let's do the integral from two to three. Same kind of thing. What's going to happen between two and three floor runs us down to two. So I'm going to leave this unreduced like this. But this value again, one, when you already have an integer value inside the floor or ceiling, it just returns the same integer. And so I do it this way just so we can see the pattern that what's happening is we end up with the lower bound. So if I do just one more of these from three to four, we get the three. And so the ceiling is going to round this up to two. So this is going to keep going like this until this lower bound here is going to be 19 and the upper bounds 20. So what I want to do is generalize this and put it inside of a sum. So like each of these we can write as an integral from n to n plus one, and it's going to be ceiling function of n over two. And the way we can summarize the whole thing, we're starting here at one. So we're going to have n equals one. And the last one, we don't want 20, we want 19, because then when we add the n plus one, then we get the 20. But then like I mentioned here, this thing is just going to be a constant, and we can kind of pull it up front of the integral and just kind of rewrite it that way. But now we've effectively gotten rid of the integral, because we're just integrating one. I mean, if you do it out, we get x evaluated from n plus one, sorry, from n to n plus one. But whenever you integrate one and the bounds are just separated by one, what's going to happen is this is just going to be one when you do it out. So this here is just going away. And sorry, I didn't want to write it this way. That's no, that's not right. We want an n right here. This is going to be all the n values from one to 19. So let me just fix that. Okay, so now that we've resolved this junk over here, we don't have to worry about an integral. We just need to kind of sum these terms up. So we can just kind of plug in here what's going to happen. We saw it right here. We get one, one, two. So this pattern is going to be one plus one plus two. For the next one, like when n is four, four over two is going to be two. It just gets ceiling just leaves it at two. So this pattern is going to continue this way. And we can just do the last term when n is 19, we get nine and a half here and the ceiling is going to round it up to 10. So we could add these numbers up, but instead what I'll do, we're going to have two of everything with the nature of this. So if we factor out two, this is going to be two and then summing up all the numbers just to nine because we only have one of these tens. Like if you plug in when n is 18, you get a nine. So we're just going to have one ten. So we'll bring that outside of the parentheses. But here for the first nine natural numbers, we can use the formula on this. The formula is going to be k times k plus one over two, just using something different than n. But then and then our k value on this is going to be nine. So putting this together, we'll plug this back in here. So we're going to have two times k, which is nine times nine plus k plus one, which is 10 over two plus 10. Cancel the twos. Nine times 10 is 90 plus 10. And so for my final solution of this, we get 100. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.